What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Bearded Fortech. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you're not new here, welcome back to the channel. And uh, I don't know if you guys heard or not, but NHTSA is probing Ford right now over 200,000 trucks from 2015 to 2021, I do believe, for a fuel leak, possible underhood fire. Um, if you saw Aaron Powerstroke Tech Talk short, it's actually the upper fuel filter on the engine. And we're going to kind of dig into this a little bit and see what's going on. And that's why Aaron and I and everybody else recommends putting an HSM filter in it because these upper fuel filters, they're plastic, they're garbage. So um, let's, uh, let's dig into that and get a little bit more information. There may be a recall. There may not be a recall. We don't really know yet. They're, they're investigating it. So let's take a look at the article. All right, so this is on Reuters.com. U.S. agency opens probe into over 200,000 Ford vehicles on fuel leak risks. And this was on May 10th, so updated a day ago. This is, this is fresh, hot, right off the press news. Um, the U.S. auto safety regulator said on Friday it was opening a preliminary evaluation into 210,960 Ford vehicles following complaints alleging diesel fuel leaks that may result in a fire. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, said its Office of Defects investigation has received 27 complaints, including 12 reports of fires and a total of four injuries, and that it would investigate Ford F-250, 350, 450, and 550 Super Duties equipped with the 6.7, you know, go, one of my favorite engines, Power Stroke Diesel of the model year 2015 through 2021. The agency said a fracture in the secondary fill filter in the vehicles could result in a fire as the proximity of the filter to high heat sources creates a potential for auto ignition thermal events. I love how Ford says thermal all the time. They don't want us to say fire, but they put thermal and fire in that same sentence. I know Ford didn't write it. NHTSA has contacted the filter's maker, Alivard Sagofi, USA, and said it learned the secondary fuel filter is tested to operate at reduced levels of pressure during the manufacturing process compared with the possible maximum operating pressure in the fuel system of the vehicle. Ford said it is working with NHTSA to support the investigation. Alivard Sogify, U.S. parent, was not immediately available for comment. Of course they're not. They screwed up. Now they don't want to admit to it. The agency's preliminary evaluation is the first step to determine whether the vehicles pose an unreasonable risk to safety, it could close the investigation without taking any potential action. So there may be a recall. There may not be a recall. I don't know how you're going to recall a fuel filter when you can just go get a different kind of fuel filter. Um, I've had one crack and start leaking. Um, not saying that that they, none of them do it. They are very, very thin plastic. They're Separately, the NHTSA said on Thursday it had significant significant safety concerns over Ford's recall of more than 42,000 SUVs over concerns like fuel leaks that could lead to an engine fire. And I'll go over that in a minute too. Somebody commented on one of my videos where I showed the recall being done when I was at the dealership. And I'll explain to you what is going on in that recall. It's not a fix. While Ford proposed an engine control software update and installation of a drain, that's what I'm talking about. And I'll go over that in a minute. NHTSA said the company's plan does not address the root cause of the issue and does not proactively call for the replacement of defective fuel injectors prior to the failure. That's what I'm saying. It's not a fix. I'll go over that in a minute. So if you see right here, the, the preliminary probe that they're talking about is aimed at assessing the severity of the potential problem and identifying the safety risk posed by it. Why it matters when I just said that it comes from a recall in March over 42,000. Model year 2223 Bronco Sport and 22 Ford Escapes. I did a lot of the Ford Escapes equipped with the 1.5 engine citing similar concerns of a fuel leak causing underhood fire. NHTSA opened an investigation to evaluate the adequacy of the remedy developed by the company for the recall as it did not replace the cracked fuel injectors but only installed a drain tube at an engine control software update. So I'm gonna, I wanted to touch base on that. This is why this cracked fuel filter... Um, probe is being done now the recall for the escape in the bronco in the side of the engine block there is a little hole we had a metal tube that was about this long 
that had a rubber tube connected connected to it and we would put some green Loctite on that metal tube and shove it in that hole and then run the hose down to the fender well and it would mount to the part of the um part of the frame underneath or the lower control arm or wherever and what that does is if a fuel fuel injector was to crack it would allow the fuel to flow through that tube to the ground and instead of being all over the top of the engine or all over the transmission where it's very hot reducing the risk of a fire and then we'd reprogram the pcm why i don't know I don't know what a PCM has to do with a crack fuel injector. Why did we not replace the injectors? A, it was telling us in that recall, if you don't see a cracked one, you install that drain tube because if it's not cracked, all you're doing is replacing the cracked injector with the same kind of injector that's in it. If it is cracked, you're going to replace that cracked injector with the same kind of injector that's in it and install the drain tube. The faulty injectors is because there's no new injector update to put into it. I still don't think they have the new injectors to put into it. That's what the drain tube is for. I'm not saying that's a fix at all. That's just to keep fuel from dumping all over the engine and the transmission and it points it to the ground to help reduce the risk of a fire. I Like I said, I don't know what the PCM software update is. But um, as far as these fuel filters, it's the one that sit on top of the engine on the driver's side, right next to the intake, right next to the CC, CCB box. It's a very hot spot. I've had one crack. Um, was it due to a faulty? Probably. Um, but, you know, 12 underhood fires and four injuries and 27 complaints. 200,000, 210,000 vehicles from 2010 to 21. Um, I don't really blame the engineers on this one. Um, engineers they may build a good product and find a good product to fit the spot and then the bean counters come in and say well let's save six cents per vehicle and get it from this manufacturer over here they use a cheaper material and it costs less and we're going to save a lot of money when in reality it costs you six million dollars to fix what you just screwed up so i blame the bean counters and that's not really ford it's ford's bean counters trying to save money um But take that fuel filter out, take that garbage plastic one out, put your HSM filter in it. It sits right inside where that filter would go. It's, it's very nice. It's got a nice housing that goes to it. That's going to be my recommendation. So you don't have to worry about it cracking. Um, that's my thoughts on that. I don't know how they're going to do a recall to a fuel filter because you're supposed to be changing them every 10 to 15,000 miles anyway. So how are you going to know which ones are cracked? That's why it's just an investigation to see if it was a certain batch of them from a certain time. But the ones that is affecting is 20, uh, 15 to 21, 21 was three years ago. You should have gone through many fuel filters by then or since then. So that is what's going on with the fuel leak side for the super duty that affects the 15 through 21 uh, F-250 all the way up to the F-550. So, I I don't know. I'll just keep monitoring this and keep you guys posted as it goes. And other than that, I love you guys and I'll see you on the next one.